Crystal Hart and welcome to the Crystal Hart Show. We are in Dublin, Ireland for Katie Taylor's homecoming fight. This is against Chantal Cameron, who is the undisputed super lightweight champion of the world. Once again, we are in Dublin, Ireland, and then on the co-main event, we have Terry Harper going up against Cecilia Breckhouse. That is for Harper's super welterweight titles. And now, let's go to the press conference. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Dublin. I can't believe we're quite saying it ahead of what will be, I feel, one of the biggest moments in the history of Irish boxing. This Saturday, Katie Taylor, the undisputed lightweight world champion, will challenge Chantelle Cameron, the undisputed super lightweight world champion, to try and become a two-time, two-division world champion, the homecoming of one of Ireland's greatest ever athletes. The atmosphere at the Three Arena is going to be incredible. If you're lucky enough to have a ticket, congratulations. If not, you can watch the event live on the zone around the world, part of a huge, huge schedule for fight fans. Before we go into the main event press conference, we have an unbelievable undercard. So many opportunities for young fighters, so many opportunities for legends of the sport, world championship fights as well. And of course, as we return to Dublin, a chance for some of Ireland's emerging talents to take their stand in the world of boxing and try and bring headline events to this city and country as well. Um, we're going to start with a young man, Paddy Donovan, who Andy Lee has told me about for years and years and years. Um, has it all. Has the potential to headline his own shows in Ireland and a tremendous fight against Sam O'Mason, who we saw challenge Dalton Smith for the British title not long ago in Sheffield. Sam, I'll start with you. Welcome. Um, fairly short notice for this fight. You were ready to fight as well. A great opportunity and straight back in in a big fight. Yeah, straight back in. I was, um, I was in camp anyway for a fight that I should have been in uh, two weeks in Scotland. Um, he pulled out and then the same day, we, we had this three days ago. I'm ready. Um, so yeah, why not? Obviously, coming off the back of headline in that, that fight, Sheffield Arena, Great experience for you in there. It was a, a big night as well. Plenty of experience now in your career fighting. Another great prospect in Paddy Donovan. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know me, I'm, I'm always up for a good fight. The one with Dalton, uh, weight was an issue, and it, it just is what it is. It's boxing. This one, it's been a lot better, um, and I'm excited for it. Uh, I always love a good 50-50 fight, whether, you know, depending on how people see it, but I'm just looking forward to getting in there, putting on a great performance. And uh, yeah, I'm, look for, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Paddy, I guess quite a lot of pressure on you on Saturday, the way you've been talked up by Andy Lee and members of the Irish media and, and Irish fight community as well. Didn't see any pressure from you yesterday. The only person that decided to do the public workout with their shirt off. I don't blame you, to be fair, looking like that. But this is a massive platform for you and a big moment for your career on Saturday. Yeah, I'm already. Um, pressures for tyres. Um, this is where I belong, at the highest level. And I'm one of the best prospects in the world boxing. And when this show came to town, Eddie, I straight away got on to Andy Lee and I said, Andy, for my talent, this is where I want to be. This is where I get the chance to showcase my skill in front of the Irish fans. So, yeah, I was scheduled to fight somebody else, but fair play to Samuel Mason stepped in late notice. But, uh, yeah, he's going to get his ass whipped come Saturday night. Obviously, we saw him fight Dalton Smith last time around who is another fantastic prospect as well. And this is, this is a real fight for you, the toughest of your career so far. Yeah, so far, on paper, it seems to be the toughest fight. Um, he brings a lot of experience. He's been in there with some good fighters, and he's been on some good matchroom undercards. So, yeah, um, looking forward to the challenge, looking forward to getting out there in front of the Irish fans and just do what I do, you know. When he's in there with me, he'll realise that I'm the best opposition he's ever fought. And uh, I just can't wait to get in there now and just do a number on him, I guess. And finally, as a young Irish fighter, obviously prospects coming through, great amateur talent coming through from this country have been starved, of course, from fighting at home. A new dawn, a new era, hopefully many more to come, and it's going to really change the way Irish boxers progress in the pro ranks. Yeah, Gary Cully touched on it last, in the last press conference about Ireland being starved of big boxing events. It's been 10 or 15 years ago since we had a big event in Ireland. So thank you, Eddie and Matchroom and Frank Smith and all the guys behind the team that came here to make this show happen in Ireland. And obviously thank Katie for bringing a homecoming to Ireland, giving us young fighters an opportunity to showcase our skill. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can build a good team. We have Thomas McCarthy, 
Gary Cully, Carty, Thomas Carty, uh, Keevan, some very good fighters. So, yeah, there's a great stable of Irish fighters coming through, and this is where you want to be on the biggest platform in the world. And thank you, Eddie, again for giving us the opportunity to showcase that Saturday night. Well, thank you, Paddy. Um, three female fights on the card. Of course, the undisputed world championship at the top of the bill. A tremendous fight between the WBA world champion Terry Harper and the former undisputed champion Cecilia Brackhouse as well. But also a very important fight for one of our top young female prospects and one of Ireland's talents as well in Kate Radomska. Kate, welcome. Um, a big fight for you. Huge opportunity to fight in Ireland as well on Saturday night and, and ready to go. Uh, yeah, as soon as Katie's homecoming show was announced, it was my big dream, to be honest. Um, so thank you for giving me the opportunity. Um, I'm under no illusion I'm an underdog here, but I'm here to win. Ob I am here to win. Obviously, for you, fighting at home, but a good young talent. Fairly inexperienced in the pro ranks, Maisie, but a good talent as well. And going to be a tough night for, for both of you. Um, yeah, Maze is a class fighter and I don't expect anything less than tough competitive fights. Um, but these are, the, these are the kind of fights I always wanted, so here I am. Maisie, always difficult for a young prospect to come to Ireland on a show of this magnitude and fight an Irish fighter with support, but you just wanted this straight away. As soon as this was mentioned on social media, you were on the case with Kevin and Tony and the team and, and a massive fight for you previously on Katie Taylor's card as well, now part of her homecoming in Ireland. Yeah, I'm over the moon to be on such a big card, to box an Irish girl on an Irish card, under a Katie Taylor card again, it's massive. But I don't do no ducking and diving, I ain't here to pick and choose, I want to fight. Kate called me out, she wanted to fight me and I'll fight now, it's as simple as that. So we see, we see what you're saying on Saturday night, you know what I mean? <laughs> Four rounds to six rounds, something that you wanted quite badly after the first two fights, really going to suit you. We know you've got an all-action style, a great engine as well, but six rounds, and as those rounds go up, you feel it's going to suit you more and more. Yeah, 100%. Four rounds is so short. It's like eight minutes of work. It's Yeah, I train for six rounds. I train with Kev and Tony down the gym all the time. Kev, he can be a bit of a sausage sometimes, you know what I mean? But he pushes me, he trains me to be the best me that I can be, and I know that these six rounders, these eight rounders that I'm going to go into, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to take over, 100%. Well, we look forward to a great fight between Maisie Rose Courtney and Kate Radomska on Saturday night. Everybody loves a heavyweight ding-dong. I love this one. And, you know, although Paddy Donovan called him Thomas McCarty, which I quite like, Tommy, to be honest with you, I think, uh, you know, we know this is a big opportunity for him. Ireland's really been starved of heavyweights in the past and now an undefeated young heavyweight who has a chance to make a name for himself on Saturday night. But his opponent, Jay McFarlane, who is one of the great characters, but also someone that's got himself in great shape. Anyone that turns up with Dr. Martins on and a skirt for a heavyweight title fight is, you know, ready, ready to go. But, Jay, here we go. Saturday night, you promised us you'd be in shape, you look in shape, you've had a real camp as well, and, and ready to fight. Here we go, mate, that's it. Here we go again. I'm on the road again. On the road to paradise. That's what it is, mate. No, I'm so happy to be in Dublin. It's a city I love. Um, the people are, are amazing. Every time I come here, it's it's hard to go back. Uh, the reception I got yesterday as well. I'm I'm so excited. I can't thank you enough for the opportunity, Edward. Um, I. I mean, it means a lot me being here. I can't wait to be on this card. Such a massive, massive opportunity. You know. I've been on big stages before, but there's something special about this night here. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. You see, with, you know, with heavyweight fighters, when they get thrown into fights, sometimes they're ill-prepared, sometimes they're fighting above their level. But experience is everything, particularly in those weight classes as well. You've been through so much fighting at cruiserweight, fighting at heavyweight as well, short-notice fights. You know, I know you had the fight where you, know, you uh, went the distance in Scotland as well. But it was a good fight, a fight where you were both exhausted, but you hung in there. And now you've got yourself in great shape for this fight. This is a massive opportunity for your career. You win on Saturday night. It really opens the doors for some huge fights domestically. No, 100%, mate. The, the, the sky is the limit here, you know. And I, I finally be, believe that, that I deserve to be here. And, and, and that's why I'm taking it seriously. I'm not here to, to fuck around anymore. I'm not here to be the, the rock star that I was and out drinking before fights. It's, it's not me. I'm, I, I've, I've cleared the mind, you know. Um, 
Aye, I've, I've, I've cleared my whole, my whole mindset, my, my whole ethos has changed on how I live my life, you know. The mind's a far better warrior than the sword, and, and uh, it's, took me, it's took me seven years as a professional athlete to realise that, but, but I'm here to do it. But I, as you said, domestic fights, there's, there's big, big, big fights that could be, could be made after this. I'll have a two-fight deal once I beat Thomas anyway, but it doesn't really matter where I'm fighting. You know, I could be fighting here, we can fight there, there's a phone box outside. I can go down to, to, down to Finglas and down to your back garden if you want, but... Um, you wouldn't like it out of Finglas, but he, I can't tell you that much. Oh, no, Definitely listen, not. He's throwing me in with the wheels, I can move lead to the pack, mate. I'll drive anywhere, all I need is a place to hang my hat. But, uh, but hi, guys, thank you for, for everybody taking the time to do the interviews with me and stuff. Thank you, Eddie, for the opportunity. My manager, Sam Kynock. My trainers, Jerry Higgins and, and Stephen McCranner. Um, and, yup, yup, get it up! Andy, uh, Andy O'Neill's there. Um, but I, I am so excited to be here. I am elated. I cannot wait. Up the hoops. Let's go. Thomas, um, we talked about this for a long time. You know, kept saying about when you returned home. Remember saying how close you lived to Croke Park and you're in the three arena on Saturday night. Just like the same with Paddy, just like the same with Gary. Must be an incredible moment for a young Irish fighter, unbeaten as well like those two to finally fight in Dublin on Saturday. And what will be the toughest fight of your career so far? Yeah, absolutely, you know. I'm five fights in now, and it's about time I have a decent step up, and Jay's gonna give me that test. Um, first of all, I'd like to say, um, to make Tanil Gamora, let this Aaron McKay, Chris of Vilkins and Tree Arena, for all the Galgors out there. And um, yeah, I'm delighted to be here. I'm blessed to be here on this card. Uh, I've called out for ever since this was spoken about a homecoming for Katie, I've been calling out to be on the card. And we're finally here now, a couple of days out. I know you've, again, same as Paddy, had to fight on the road. Um, and that's difficult for an Irish fighter to do. But obviously, as a heavyweight, there's always going to be interest as well. But hopefully, building these big cards now, an impressive performance will build to bigger shows here in, in Dublin and Ireland moving forward. Is that what you're after? You want to make a statement on Saturday night? Absolutely. You know, I turned pro two years ago this week, actually. And I haven't been out of the gym since. It's all been building towards this. And Saturday night, you're going to see the best Thomas Cardi so far. Well, I look forward to a great fight between Thomas Carty and Jay McFarlane on Saturday night. We go on to the main card. Um, again, so much talent here, and one particularly in Kevin Ajarko, who, back from injury and ready to explode on the world scene, was running so well, was going so well, was ranked in the governing bodies, ready to make that charge, came back with a hand operation at the end of last year, but gets the opportunity now to fight in Dublin on Saturday night as he looks to climb back up the world rankings and land huge fights in 2023. His opponent in Grant Dennis looks the part. We love, we love that you're here to fight. We wanted a real fight for Keevan to come back to, and you're ready to go on Saturday night on this huge show. Yeah, I'm here to mess up the party. That's simple as that. I know Keevan well. He knows me well. We've shared rounds. But I'm here to mess up your party, and um, that's how I'm rolling, man. This is my this is my show. That's how I see it, and that's how I've got to, that's how I've got to look at this opponent, like um, and this opportunity. Take it with both hands, and I'm ready to go. Obviously, you know how talented Keevan is. You've shared rounds as well, but also know that this is probably a better time to fight him now, perhaps, than it was maybe six months ago when he had all that momentum coming back from injury. He needs to impress as well, but. Sharing those rounds with sparring, you, you like your chances in this fight? I like my chances, no matter what, you know what I'm saying, whoever it's against. I like my chances. He knows I'm talented as well. So it's just, uh, it's going to be fireworks, man. We, our stars will gel. They would be sick. So, yeah, man, I'm ready for Saturday. When you have fighters like yourselves who have been in big fights but not quite reached their levels that you want to but are always one win away, yeah. from turning a career around, turning you know, the, the money around, all those kind of things. This is, this is it for you, right? This is the opportunity that changes all that. Man, you I've win got... this fight, you enter the world rankings, and everything changes. Massive paydays ahead. Yeah, I've sunk my teeth into training hard. I've got five kids, man. I've got a lot of bills. So this means everything to me. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, this opportunity, this event, look at it. It's crazy. I'm up here on the main table, and it's a, it's a big thing for me. Well, good luck to you on Saturday. Kevin, obviously uh, a real fighter. This is what you wanted. You know, you wanted someone that, it, someone that meant something to, someone that's going to come to try and win on Saturday night. And coming back, I know you're so happy to be back, but there is pressure as well. Pressure to perform in front of your Irish fans as well. Pressure to make a statement and get back on track. Like Paddy Donovan said, pressure creates, or pressures for tires. There's no pressure on me. There's only pressure that I put on myself. Um, 
it's amazing to be back in home soil fighting in Dublin where I won many national titles. But yeah, listen, I've been out of the ring 10 months. You said there that might be the best time to get me. This is probably the worst time to get me. I'm starving for success. I'm starving to make a few quid again and, and be back in the ring. Seven months ago when I left the gym with Deck and Joe after pulling out of my last fight, I went the next day I was straight in the gym training with one hand and I've not I've not left the gym since, you know what I mean, put a bit of weight on, but other than that I've been staying active and listen, it's great to be back, but Saturday night you're going to see a new beast. I've got a new team with Joe and Deck. I've been training, I've been working hard, my hand's fixed. My last two fights I fought with a, a snap ligament and fracture and I made it easy work, do you know what I mean? So imagine me with two hands. Um, but yeah, listen, I don't want an easy opponent for this. I respect Grant Dennis, I've, I've shared around spawn with him. He knows what happens in them spars. Um, take your glasses off. Show me that right eye. The one that I, the, 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 the one, the one that I, um, I fractured. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. It's, it's sparring, right? Did I, did, 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 did you even wobble me from it though? I didn't know. No, but you did, did no, I fracture no. eye? And, and, and I spoke to you after, but I was like, look, look yeah. what happened. I blew my nose and it come out a little bit. Well but that's done, what I'm bro. saying. You well know done. what happened in them spars and. Yeah, Did you, the spars, whenever, the whenever I send, whenever I send with Matt Room, the spars were 50, 50 spars, and you know it. Bro. Well, that, well, you, we'll you see Saturday that. night. We'll see Saturday we, we, night. But when, when, one hundred percent, we will see Saturday night, bro. You know I'm coming for it, bro. You know me. I know, and I prepare for the. You know me personally, and you know I'm going to come for it hard. I, so I, you know that. I want you to. You know I, I'm, I'm going I'm, to. I'm, I'm prepared for the best, Grant Dennis. You're absolutely going to get the best, Grant Dennis. I, I send with Matt Room in November of 21. I fought in December. I got a phone call off Grant Dennis saying, did uh, Matram off offer you to fight me? I said, I've not heard anything. He says, oh, I've just got a phone call. I said, are you taking the fight? And he said, no. This is his last opportunity and he knows what's going to happen Saturday night. He, he knows. He, he know, I listen, age backwards and you know that, bro. Okay. You know that, bro. Listen, man. I'm prepared for... I'm, prepared I, I'm for Benjamin Button out here, bro. You are crazy. <laughs> Trust the, me, you know it. I'm Jamaican, bro. We age backwards, bro. And you know that. <laughs> listen, I know black don't crack. You know, exactly, I know bro. It. I know it. Exactly. But listen, it's, it's going to be an entertaining fight Saturday night. And whenever I come out to my, my song, The Ring Walk, my fans cheer me on. And do you know what I mean? He, he's going to know he's in a real fight. And he knows it anyway. And I know I'm in a fight. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be a great fight. Our, our, our stairs will gel. But I'm back to make a statement. I'm here to steal the show. I feel like I've become the forgotten fighter of the 154, 160, because I've been out of the ring for 10 months. But listen, I'm back and like I said, I've been working with Joe and Dak very hard and it's going to be a, a big night for me. But normally I would phone you and say good luck, son. So I'm still going to say good luck to you, bro. Yeah? Bless. I'll see you Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, just finally, we saw you yesterday at the workout. Yeah, we, we were joking outside about fighters who turn up and just go through the motions at workout. You were taking, you know, nearly taking Dex elbows and shoulders off their sockets. Is that the pent-up frustration? You're going in there with bad intentions on Saturday to make a statement? Well, but, uh, Dex had to tell me, you, I didn't train yesterday. He's like, you're not training. Sit down, stop me. I've, I've got so much frustration, good frustration, buzzing to be back, but I've got so much anger and frustration that I, I can't wait. I've never spent 10, man, 10 months out of, the, out of the ring. When I got stabbed, I was only out for four or five months. I was straight back in the ring. Do you know what I mean? So it's been a very, very long time. And, I just can't wait to get back in there Saturday night, especially on a show like this. It's an honour to be a part of Kitty Taylor's uh, card again. It's, it's unreal to be in Dublin. So, yeah, I've got frustration. Like, like you said, you see me looking good yesterday at the public workout, and um, I'm coming with bad intentions. Well, well done, you two. I enjoyed that. Looking forward to the, the opener on the main card tomorrow. Yarko against Dennis, a great fight over 10 rounds, as is this fight. A tremendous fight, a tremendous story as well. The IBO World Super Lightweight Championship, a Super Welterweight Championship as well. I hope your boy's not going to make 10 stone 7 tomorrow. But this is a tremendous, tremendous fight. JJ Metcalf, who us at Matrim are very, very fond of because he got thrown in the deep end in a fight of the year against Ted Cheeseman in Gibraltar, came back, had another fight of the year against Kieran Conway in a fight that some people thought that he might have edged, came back and fought in Spain um, and came away with a huge victory against Le Haraja in his hometown of Bilbao, then fought in Leeds, got the win, and now has an opportunity to put himself in a huge position to go and challenge the big names at 154 pounds. But his opponent, the champion, Dennis Hogan, coming off victory against Sam Eggington, and an unbelievable story, of course, the Irish Dennis Hogan as well. The first time in his professional career that he has fought in Ireland 
as well. He's had an unbelievable career and you will see a firefight between these two on Saturday night. JJ, I'll start with you. Just probably bored now of talking about the turnaround in your career, but it has been an incredible rise coming off the back of those two defeats. Huge win for you in Bilbao, big win last time out. This fight's a little bit special. It is, it's, it's amazing to be on this stage and you know, the world titles. Just something I've dreamed of since I was probably 11 years of age in my first amateur fight. So to get that opportunity, you know, I'm over the moon. Obviously fighting an Irishman, but yourself, Kid Shamrock, your old man, Shane Neary as well, like huge Irish roots as well. And a very special occasion. I know when this fight was announced, you and your team were on straight away saying it would be a dream to fight in Ireland. Yeah, it's been a dream all my life, really. Um, you know, my dad boxed here a couple of times. All my family are from here, so I've got a huge support coming. Loads travelling over as well, so you know I'm going to be up right up for it on the night. And the same that we see every time from you, the pressure in this fight, going to break this guy down. We know he's experienced, we know he's tough as well, but a lot of people talking about a great fight that we should witness on Saturday. You know, we've got a, we've got a game plan, I'm going to stick to the game plan. You know, it's going to be educated, but a fight that I'm going to win. Dennis, welcome. Um, you know, talking to you outside as well, the first time you've ever boxed in Ireland as a professional, quite unbelievable. Um, and to come back now with your position and the fights you've had around the world, a special moment for you and your team and your family on Saturday night. Yeah, look, it's been a long journey since uh, October 2010. I had my last fight here and um, I've gone off out to the world and my, my dream was always to grab a, a, a title and, and come back and defend it. And now that gets to happen. Um, you know, there's been you know, a lot of sacrifice and everything like all boxers make, but I believe this will be super spe uh, extra special now for my family, my friends, my team from Australia over here with me, you know, just to, uh, for me to go out and just deliver the best performance I possibly can. This feels nearly as much for everyone else as it is for me. You've had some huge fights all around the world as well and been on a great run, great victory last time against Sam Eggington as well. A lot of people talking about this fight should explode quite quickly as well. Good clash of styles. Expect a tough one on Saturday night. Yeah, I, I sure do. Like, um, like I know Metcalf. Like he's, in a, he, he's in a position that I was in before, um, hungry um, to get my hands on a strap. and um, So I know where he's at. And, and I knew that coming into the camp. And I, I've put my head down and I've, I've put in you know, a, a monumental four months just to be ready for that. And, um, and, and I treated myself as a challenger for, for, for this in terms of how I've trained and what I've done and uh, much respect to, to, to Metcalf and his team to come into Ireland and, 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 and do this and take this uh, opportunity. But, um, you know, for me, uh, that belt has to come home with me and I go, I'm back to my daughters. Well, thank you, Dennis Hogan, JJ Metcalf. Tremendous fight for the IBO Super Welterweight Championship of the World. A fight that could headline its own card, and so is this one. A tremendous female fight for the WBA 154-pound world title. Terry Harper, who we saw win world championships at Super Featherweight, up now at 154 pounds after a great win against Hannah Rankin, but this time taking on Cecilia Brackhouse, the first lady, one of the trailblazers of women's boxing, the former undisputed welterweight champion of the world. Cecilia, welcome. Um, great to have you back after those two fights with Jessica McCaskill as well. Now up at 154 pounds, a chance to win another world title on a huge show in Dublin. You look ready to go. Um, absolutely. Um, I'm shaking off those uh, two fights and uh, a pretty rough uh, uh, time under the epidemic. And I'm very excited to fight against uh, Terry Harper on Saturday. She's a big champion. She's extremely uh, professional. Um, and she is also extremely skilled in the sweet science of boxing. And that's what I really enjoy. I enjoy going uh, into fight knowing that I'm going to... Um, um, be boxing and uh, um, not uh, brawling for 10 rounds. Of course, I can brawl too, but uh, um, um, I think you're going to see some world-class uh, boxing on Saturday, so I'm really looking forward to that. How difficult was those defeats to McCaskill? You know, you've been on the, the winning side for so long. Now you look to really have the hunger back, and you come back now as challenger. Does that make a difference to the mindset? You have a chance to become world champion again on Saturday night. 
Um, yeah, definitely. It's a new uh, situation for me. Um, like I said, uh, the two fights against uh, Jessica under the uh, epidemic, I shouldn't have been there, but uh, that's, uh, you know, water under the bridge. Uh, I'm back. I feel great. Uh, training with uh, Jonathan Banks again, um, which suits my style a little bit more. Um, and uh, I'm happy and I'm uh, back into falling in love uh, with the uh, boxing. And I'm so excited that uh, my first big fight is going to be against such a um, uh, skilled boxer as uh, Terry Harper. A lot of people talking about the size in this fight. Of course, Terry Harper moved from 130 pounds, wanted to move up to 135 pounds. The opportunity come to fight for a world title at 154, but you are a career 147 and above as well. A lot of people feel like you have a size advantage in this fight. Is that something that you believe will play a part? Mm. No, not really. Um, Terry Hopper has actually been a um, super welter longer than I have. <laughs> and finally as well, the moment obviously for Katie Taylor. You've been here for a, a long time. You've been pushing women's boxing just like she has. Must be nice to see obviously yourself being part of a, a huge fight, but as well the, the attention, the focus on women's boxing just seems to be improving every, every year. You know, I had my own homecoming. Uh, professional boxing was banned in Norway since 1981. Uh, we fought seven years to get rid of that ban. And when we finally got rid of it, uh, you know, I had light on the show. We sold out 10,000 tickets. And so I know what's driving Katie Taylor now. I know when, uh, um, when I went out there uh, in that uh, arena that it wouldn't even matter who was, on the, uh, was in the ring with me. I, I would never lose. So I, I know what's, driv uh, what, what's driving Katie Taylor now. And I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for Chantel. Um, I, I'm a big fan of both. And um, I think she picked the hardest fight possible for this homecoming. Um, so I'm definitely in awe of uh, uh, Katie Taylor and, uh, and them both. So it's going to be so much fun on Saturday. Thank you, Cecilia. Terry, welcome. It's been a long time coming, this one, hasn't it? I think you were supposed to fight. We talked about December, then it was February, and the weight has been worth it, not just for the fight itself, but the moment itself, the stage itself, and ready for the biggest fight of your career on Saturday night. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, it can get frustrating at times. Uh, five days getting pushed back and stuff, but I see it now as I've had time to be in the gym and uh, be working with Andrew, and just extra preparation for this fight. I'm in with a great... Um, Great fighter on Saturday night, uh, someone who's got all the experience under her belt and um, I'm just excited to get to work and share the ring with such a great, great athlete. Yeah, how, how does that feel, you know, growing up, obviously watching Cecilia Brackhouse break down barriers and win world championships and become undisputed? Must feel quite surreal. I know you're there in your own right, you're a pound for pound top fighter as well, but fighting a real legend of the sport on Saturday. Yeah, someone who um, I've looked up to for a while as well and... Um, She's just done great things for not just female boxing, but boxing, obviously, the boxing being banned in Norway and stuff like that. And um, I just, like I say, I've just got full respect for um, Cecilia and taking the fight and giving me the opportunity on Saturday night to, to put on a great show for everyone. And just one question on the size and the weight, which always comes up as well. I mean, probably now thinking that you're going to weigh 24 pounds more than you weighed when you held the world title at 130. It's quite a scary thought. Uh, I'm not sure you could ever go back to those kind of numbers, but look strong, feel strong, and very happy in this weight class right now. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Um, usually these fight weeks, I'm just looking forward to weighing in, but now I'm able to look forward to the fight and fully focus on, on the job that I've got to do and not just being weight-focused. Weight well, thank you both. Tremendous fight. Terry Harper against Cecilia Brackhouse for the WBA Super Welterweight Championship of the World. And when we talk about great fighters and great talents, and great potential, this man to my right is someone that I believe can go all the way in the 135 pound division and bring championship, world championship fights back to Dublin and Ireland. And if you can turn up wearing the flat cap and the vest, you know you can really, really fight Gary Cully. Your opponent on Saturday night, Jose Felix, is someone that's gonna to come to win, someone that's extremely durable, Mexican warrior, someone that's gonna give you guys great entertainment as well. And I'll start with you, Jose, you came up to me just outside and you apologised and I asked you what you were apologising for and you were apologising because you said you are going to beat Gary Cully on Saturday night. Así es, bueno, primero que nada, buenas tardes, gracias por venir a toda la gente. Quiero 
pedir una disculpa aquí enfrente de todos para que estén presentes y escuchen, no nada más hacerse, capaz se le olvida que le vengo a pedir una disculpa porque le voy a quitar un invicto y pues a eso vengo nada más, vengo a quitar el invicto y perdóname, yo sé que es tu empresa pero yo tengo mis cosas también y tengo mis, mis cosas por qué luchar. He said, um, oh no, Paco, sorry, go on. No, go ahead, go ahead, no, try. He said, I'm looking unbelievable, um, it's a great fight, go, go. He says, uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you, media, uh, for coming today. And um, the reason that I came to Eddie, I wanted to apologize. I came to him and I said, Eddie, I would like to apologize to you. So Eddie says, well, why, how come? He says, uh, because I'm going to take the all from Gary Cooley on Saturday. Jose, we've seen so many great Mexican fighters come here. This guy has been walking through everybody. This guy has been knocking everybody out. Not you on Saturday, you're ready for war in Dublin. Sí, eh, es un peleador que le tengo mucho respeto, un gran, gran, gran boxeador, tiene las manos muy pesadas, se supone, en el récord lo dice, como los noquea a todos, pero, pero nunca he peleado con alguien que tenga la mochila llena de trucos. Yo soy un boxeador mexicano, que soy un guerrero, ellos me conocen, ya me vieron en el 2021 con McKenna, su, 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 su amigo de gimnasio, porque entrenan juntos todo. Ya le, yo creo que McKenna ya le dijo la fuerte pegada que tengo, lo tumbé, no pude, no pude terminarlo por, por cuestiones de que el referee no me dejaba acercarme, y de volada no me lo acercaba y golpeaba más abajo, más arriba, no dejó hacer mi pelea, pero... Esta es mi oportunidad de, de, de venir y, y hacer mi, mi travesura aquí en, en Irlanda, es la segunda vez. Y como le digo, ya me conocen, saben que soy un guerrero y voy a dar desde el principio al fin tirando golpes hasta que logre el objetivo que será quitarle el cero a Cooley. Over to you, Paco. <laughs> Gary Cooley, a great, great fighter. We know he's rangy, uh, great boxer, as you all know, heavy hand. Uh, we, we are aware of that. But I am a Mexican warrior. I'm going to be here. I'm pretty sure that his, uh, uh, the trainer of uh, McKinnon already told him exactly how to find me because we, I already fought his uh, um, ring, uh, the, the guy that trains with him. Do you train with McKinnon? Yeah. That's, okay. So that's what he said. And, but I'm going to, you guys are going to see a completely different uh, Jose Felix on Saturday. I'm well prepared mentally, physically, and I'm a warrior and either He knocks me out or I'm going to knock him out. Love to see it. Thank you, Jose. Gary, I'm excited. I mean, uh, someone that we know is very tough, someone that we know that comes to fight, someone that we know is very durable as well. All the things you need in, in your development, but a real fight in your city on Saturday night, just a massive moment for you. Yeah, first of all, it's just, it's mad. It's special to be here. Um, I grew up 20 minutes from here in Nice. Um, any big gigs, big concerts, big fights back in the Bernard Dunn days that I came to, they were all in the tree arena, they were all in Dublin and uh, I've dreamt of that, this moment ever since then and uh, to share a card with this, this young Irish talent coming through, myself, Thomas, Keevan shared, uh, shared youth teams coming through the amateur ranks together, Paddy a little bit behind us, a little bit younger and uh, a fellow Kildare man in, in Dennis as well. To be leading the, leading the charge, to be at the forefront of this new wave of Irish talent and uh, to bring Irish boxing back home. Obviously, this is Katie's night, but I want this to be the, the first of many nights back in Dublin. And um, we're coming to bring big time boxing back to Dublin. We're the fighting Irish, we're back in Ireland, and uh, I'm excited to put on a show on Saturday night. Obviously, a lot of people high on your performances recently. You've had a great run under us as well, knocking people out on big shows. The development, the platform's been perfect so far. Expect a tough fight on Saturday. We know, you know, I said yesterday about I expect this guy to give you rounds. You didn't, you didn't really like that when I said it, but he is durable, he is tough. And I guess got not to, to be too over keen in this fight. I know you want to make a statement, but as well, tough opposition for you this time around. Yeah, for sure. Jose Felix is, uh, is no mug. Like he said, Mexican warrior. We're the fighting Irish. I wanted somebody who was going to come to fight, who's going to excite the fans. Um, I've got a fan-friendly style, he's got a fan-friendly style. 30, 30 KO wins in 39 uh, 
39 wins so he's going to come to fight he's like he said he's a Mexican warrior and I believe our t two styles are going to gel well and um, it's going to be a, a very very entertaining fight and finally you said a great story last night about yourself obviously being from this city chasing big dreams but also your neighbour as well a special ring walk for you on Saturday night that I'd like you just to tell about that, that story you told last night because I think it's influential for young kids chasing a dream that, that they can come true yeah, shout out to, uh, to Dan McCabe. Um, we grew up in an estate called Sarto. Um, I was number 81, he was 75, and we grew up, grew up together. We were in primary school together, secondary school together, and we had this dream um, growing up through, through the years of he was going to go and do his thing in, in the music industry, I was going to do my thing in boxing, and I'd come home to Dublin, I'd have a big fight, and he'd sing me to the ring. So. Uh, He's going to be doing a live ring walk on Saturday night and it's going to be special for us both, for my friends, for my family, for everybody who grew up with us, for the, for the community back in the estate as well. So um, it's a cool moment for us and I'm, I'm just looking forward to taking it all in, soaking in the atmosphere and enjoying these fans on Saturday night. Well, tremendous story. Dreams do come true. Lovely story, but make no mistake, this is a bad man that's ready to go and try and take the 135 division by storm. A young Irish fighter that you can really get behind, not just on Saturday night, but through his career, as we have so many young talent here in Dublin, in Ireland, that you can support as well. A fantastic undercard on what is a historic night on Saturday at the Three Arena, live and exclusive on the zone. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Dublin, Ireland. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.